going on everyone your boy slick is back again with another video so just a weight update and diet updates i came in weighing at 198 today i lost two pounds since yesterday it's because i didn't eat too much yesterday i'm not really too sure why i wasn't too hungry but i only had like three or four meals which wasn't really good on my protein intake but i cut two pounds overnight and is it will i sustain this weight we'll see tomorrow my diet's been pretty good today, but um, I think I'll probably end up staying around 190 tomorrow. So we did chest and triceps today at the gym, and then we did 30 minutes of cardio. I'll put up the stats for you guys. So today I want to talk about how I deal with bad days. You know, I'm, I'm human as well. We're all human. We all have these bad days where you're just like not feeling yourself. Your negative conscience is talking to you and everything like, man, I'm just not feeling good today. I know it's been happening to me. Um, some days I try to be maintain a positive mood all the time. Some days I'll wake up and it's like, I just get out of bed. I'm like, man, I'm not really feeling it today. You know, or it could be like during the middle of the day, I'll be having a good day and I'll just have this negative thought, like some regret in my past or something that got me thinking about it. Like, man, maybe I should have did that instead. Or I'm just thinking about the future. Like, man, I can't really, I don't know if I can achieve all the goals I set out for in 2022. I got all stressed out. And that just brings your mood down for the rest of the day. And it's like, it's harder to come back from that. I, I get it. I'm human too. I go through it. I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. But um, the best you can do is try to mitigate that bad mood and still get at it during the day. Still do all your tasks, your gym, your fitness, stick with your diet. So how I deal with it, I know on Friday I was dealing uh, with it. Uh, after work, I was really exhausted. I laid in bed for like an hour, took like an hour nap. I got off from the nap, and I was, I was looking at the clock. I'm like, okay, it's 5. I got to go out to eat. It's 7.30. I could hit the gym right now, or I can lay in bed and lay in bed for the next hour and a half and just sit there because I was in a bad mood. I was really I was really contemplating, like, staying in bed. I'm like, you know what? If I lay in bed all day, I'm going to feel really, really shitty about myself later tonight when I'm looking at my computer or something, editing a video. I'm like... Man, I could have got at it today, but I chose to lay in bed. And that's just like some regret I don't want to have anymore. Because I want to make the most out of each and every day. Of bettering myself, bettering um, my YouTube, my work, bettering myself, my health. Like every day is a new opportunity to get at it. And I know uh, if I looked in the mirror later that night and I saw myself, I'd be disappointed. And I don't like being disappointed with myself. It's something I had a lot in the past where I'm disappointing myself looking in the mirror and I'll like what you see. I know I, have to, I know I have to stick with it every day, no, no matter how bad of a mood I'm in. It doesn't matter. I can't project that to other people. I can't let that show. I got to take care of it within my mind and get a better attitude and just get at it during the day. So I got out of bed. I hit the gym. I turned on some motivational video and I heard like 30 seconds of that motivational video. I'm like, I'm going to the gym today. I'm getting it done. What am I doing laying in bed? This isn't who I am. I'm active. I got to be healthy. I got to do this today because I'm not getting this day back. I got that stuff done. I went out to dinner with my brother. I had a really good uh, good conversation, good meal. We really had a good time. And I got home. I was like, I'm feeling in a better mood. All I needed was a cheat meal, uh, talking with my brother or whatever. And I got after him. You just, to, you just have to mitigate your bad mood. Don't project it on other people, you know. They're, they're probably already going through some stuff and projecting your bad mood on others isn't a good trait to have. Try to be positive to other people. But yeah, try not to give in to the uh, bad thoughts of, oh man, this diet's so hard, I can't, uh, if I just have one cheat meal or whatever, it's no big deal. You can't do that. You got to stay strong. You got to stay disciplined with yourself. The bad moods, they come and go. It, it could be a bad day, but it's not a bad life. Remember that. I think about that be a bad day it's not gonna be a bad week one bad day out of seven isn't that bad but if you consistently have bad days you gotta find you gotta change your environment change up your lifestyle you gotta do something so that'll be the video for today don't leave, let these bad moods get to you we all have them we're all human uh focus on the future see yourself in five years where you'll be if you keep continuing your diet your exercise you know studying getting after it your whole life's gonna change and you're just going to know it yet so hopefully hit the gym today. I know I did. Do some cardio. Uh, study up a little bit. Enjoy your Sunday. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment. How you handle bad days. I'd be interested to hear if uh, you guys have any suggestions or what's your go-to. Maybe eating some ice cream or something. <laughs> Low calorie, hopefully. That'll be it for today. 
Oh, and I'm out.